Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, about five minutes ago, the postman yeah. dropped off. <laughs> DHL knocked on us. the door, hello. It's always the best. It's the best way to do a review. The Fresh. most impromptu. Um, seed golf balls just arrived. We talked in the q and live this morning about uh, them being on their way and we're yeah. looking forward to it. Lots of great comments in the, uh, in the, the live chat. And it seems that it is probably the one of the easiest to access, easiest to ship in um, direct to consumer balls if you are in the UK. So we have yeah. some great favorites here, like Snell, for example. Distribution wise, I think seed for a UK customer, I think you do better on shipping and taxes and stuff. I've heard about these a little bit through the summer. So we've got the Pro 1, the Pro Tour. SD01, which is the yellow ball you've, you've got there. Mm -hmm is the three-piece ball? Three-piece, yeah. So and you've four got piece your, is the SDO Exactly, okay. exactly. So the, I guess, I mean, I get, we always we always use our Pro-V1. That's what I was gonna say, Pro-V and Pro-V1X. Great um, delivery program, yeah. seed run. It's interesting, isn't really it? Really good program. There's there's a sort of trial pack um, that gets you a dozen balls, gets you some teas, and then you can sort of keep on a, a regular delivery program. That's good that just kind of keeps you not thinking about where your next dozen golf balls is coming from. I think it's good. It makes sure that you get the same ball over and over yeah. again. You don't you don't go, ah, this one's on sale this week, or oh, I forgot to run to the store. So it's a good idea. I'm curious how many people take advantage of that as a system. You and I are both sticklers for how a golf ball looks. Yeah. The yeah, cover. Yeah. Does it look premium? Does it look cheap? Yep. We like the look of this one out the box. Yes, I think the actual white paint color, tone, whatever it is, the, yep. the consistency of the cover, you can feel it's got some friction to it. I think it looks very premium. Let's get some initial wedge shots, Matty boy, our usual sort of sand wedge distance. Good swing. That sounded nice. Mm -hmm. Looks That's a lovely flight. flight. It's a really good looking flight, I think. That's a nice iron. Do it. Oh. That's nice. That flight reminds me of your driver. Yes, hello.
All right, Matty boy, um, let's go back to the wedges. Mm. So we saw a decent difference. 1,000 RPMs is uh, it's a lot between two, quite a lot two with balls. our tests. Yep, absolutely. Little difference in the launch uh, coming down with the, the spin being higher, higher rate of friction. We'd expect to see that little, little difference in ball speed. Uh, and then again with the, the irons, another, another decent size gap. Definitely. It's good. So far, they've got two golf balls that don't really encroach on each other. And I really liked, liked that. Especially if you're only going to have two models in the upper tier like they do. I mean, yeah. why have them overlap? And they, they don't appear to have done that at all. The, uh, the firmer SDO2, the, um, the kind of Pro V1X equivalent, does as, as kind of advertised. It's a little quicker and it spins a little bit more. Such a nice looking. I really like the look of a lot of those iron flights. Yeah. They looked just subtly lower launching, a little bit more spin on them. They kind of flighted in nicely. And this was something that was a surprise for us because normally when we see golf balls that are engineered to perform with higher spin with the irons and wedges, yeah. it's kind of been taken away that it doesn't do that with, uh, with the driver. But in, in this case, it, it did have a little bit more. Which is, I don't mind that at all. I, I was saying to you off camera, I think if I played this ball, I might consider using the nine degree of my driver mm -hmm. or nine and a half because now I can actually spin my 10 degree plenty more yeah. than I need to. It's perfect off every other club. And if I took half a degree to a, you know, a degree off this, mm -hmm. spin would come down, ball speed would probably go up a little bit. Yep. I'd actually have a really good ball, even for someone like me. And then I think if someone can't quite keep their driver in the air long enough, they're struggling, as you've seen many times for spin, yeah. this is a good option. It is a good option. Just has a slightly different peak to it. So players who kind of get that driver going out there a bit flat and sometimes they feel like they don't do well and they have a forced carry. Yeah. They, they do quite well when there's nothing in front of them and they can just fly it out there. But if you just need to kind of give it a little more lift, um, that, that might suit certain players. But because of that spin difference, um, just under 600 RPMs, there was, there was a nine yard carry uh, difference. Definitely. Yeah, the O1 is the more modern driver golf ball. That's no what we know your driver looks like most of the time. It, those are great numbers. Really um, good numbers. I would have no hesitation for someone who wants to reduce their spin across the board. The SD01 is the ball for sure. I think if someone is coming from a ball that is already tour spec across the board, it should be pretty much plug and play in the wedge and iron. The driver, I think you have to look at. If you like everything about it, just see what your driver spin is. If it is a little bit high, I would say maybe even play with your driver settings. Because that's a great point. The, the golden rule is always have the driver fit the ball. Yeah. Don't have the ball fit the driver because we, we're trying, if you've seen that you love it in the wedges, you love it in the irons, it's a great flight, mm. but it's not quite there with the driver, well, make a change to the driver. Definitely. It's so easy to do. I mean, you can easily just change the loft in two seconds. When you dig a little bit deeper into to seed and who they are, it's a, it's a cool story. Um, out of the Institute of Technology at Carlo, just in, in sort of south, well, southern Ireland, but certainly southwest of, of Dublin um, is, is where they're based. And they've done a lot of research uh, on, on the, the kind of things. This isn't this isn't your typical golf balls, you know, direct to consumer story. Right. They're a little bit more of a researcher in that. Like, I mean, they kind of do their research about where to source and how to design the product. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, you can go on their on their website. You can you can see a lot of the uh, the research they've they've done on, on this type of stuff. That's great. Sometimes think that the, the opinion can be that some of these cheaper golf balls might be, uh, you know, head out to Asia, find a a factory that's willing to make them a, a good yeah. price do some tests and figure out the good ones, the bad ones, what do you want to kind of build up in your range and, and uh, go from there. It's, it seems like there's been a, a slightly different approach taken with these, yeah. which is nice. I think what you've described, that exists in many brands and we've tested some of them, but it's nice to see one that takes, I, I would say they're taking a little bit more ownership for what the actual golf ball is. Yeah. Snell is like that too, I find. They take ownership for the design, the quality control, and it's just nice to see another option for something that does the same. I like the brand. I yeah. like what they've done with it. I totally agree. And more importantly, the, the ball performs quite well. It sounded great. It, uh, it felt it nice. It felt great. Both of them feel quite nice. Yeah. I would say neither of them are firm in feel. They're both quite nice and soft. So we've just done some testing mm. uh, with your own golf ball or what you have played over the last few years, the yeah. Z-Star XV. The ball speeds were identical. Yeah. 
It's a very quick ball. I mean, this this could be this could be any premium ball for you here. Yes. The SD01 could literally be any one of them. I totally agree. It flies as good as anything off the driver. Absolutely. Okay. Um, thanks to Seed for sending those over. I really appreciate that, guys. A big thumbs up from us. We're excited to to do it in our grand golf ball test and put it in the mix once right. we get outdoors and we've got some cool plans coming up for for that. We want to get into some of these. You know aerodynamics you guys talk a lot about the aerodynamics uh, in your golf ball and why you have certain dimple patterns and how you know aerodynamics and drag and all these things are are really what allows a golf ball to separate itself from uh, from others so um, i'm excited to test this amongst other better known brands i agree i think it's gonna be really nice off the wedges and the irons especially Definitely. okay guys stay tuned for more tests on the golf balls we'll see you again soon